Oh, good morning, everybody. It's 5.20. The light and the birds woke us up. I woke me up, and then I woke Shorty up. And I wasn't ready to get up, because I had an awful night. And I had the yeah. best night's sleep ever, after <laughs> the previous night with the cows and the parrots that turned out to be frogs. <laughs> and, oh, God, it was awful. So energetic now. Yeah, but this is great. It's a beautiful morning. It didn't rain last night. Yeah. Less condensation in the tent. I feel lucky with the weather. Yeah, there was lightning again, though. Lightning with no thunder. Yeah, it was supposed to be thunderstorming yesterday from 1 in the afternoon until 5, but nothing, nothing. And a 70% chance of thunderstorm, according to the last forecast, which had come down from 100%, ended up being 0%. Oh, incredible. Uh-huh. When is it going to surprise us? Yeah, anyway, you got to pack the tent up and get going. Water. Water next stop. Voda. Be my Voda. 5.30 in the morning, and we're ready to head off. So we were camped last night at uh, 1,800 feet. Very pleasant temperature. Oh, we're still on a path. been used in a while. Centuries. It's still pretty obvious where it is. So here's another gate. Leave it as you found it. Oh, we're definitely okay. <coughs> excuse me. We're definitely on the right track. Primorska Primavera. Primorska Planinaska. <laughs> Primorska Planinaska Transversala. Coastal mountain traverse. Just like that. <laughs> we entered an open grassy area. Well, there's no livestock here. It's uh, not been eaten up. There's an abandoned house up there. Quite an impressive structure. But sure she just pointed out to me after walking through all this wet grass. I went the wrong way. <sighs> no wonder I Back track. This. Really indistinct. If it wasn't for the GPX track, we'd be screwed. <laughs> Yeah, not from down there. There's a bullseye here. Fine. Oh, we're still going the right way. And uh, a signpost. Mm -hmm. Bijela Scala. That's where we came from. I think Scala means older. Sazina Popovdo. Yeah. Rumea is the highest peak. Ah, <sighs> everyone's climbing that today. Today is a feast, feast of, the, of Pen the Pentecost. That's what and we believe. We started at one in the morning. And yeah, nice weather for them. Early morning's a good time because there's no snakes. We saw two snakes yesterday a rattlesnake kind of patterned one and then a big fat brown one. Ooh, some of them are the most poisonous here in the world. No, here, I think. Uh, oh, well. But we better look it up, huh? Yeah, that one looked like venomous, the first one I saw. A good path. Well, this might not be everybody's idea of a good path, but, but after what we've been through, this is a good path. Yeah. Woohoo. Another gate. <clears throat> and this one's in a good state of repair. We'll actually have to try and open it. A bow tie. A bow tie opening. Mm -hmm. oh. Huh. oh, it works. Wow. Huh. It is made out of birch. Some kind of wood. I don't know. <laughs> Nicely hinged. On cord hinges. There's a nice granite memorial. What does it say, Shorty? It says, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, impossible to say. Looked like a young guy. On November 28, 1946 to 2008. Huh. The PPT was only inaugurated in 2006. Oh, uh, we've reached a high point here. Two trail miles probably now. 1.85 as the crow flies. 
to the next water system. Well, that'll be a good sight to see. Oh, and that's like a water catchment basin. Shorty spotted. Yeah. But no water. Maybe just like in Oriflam Canyon. Mm -hmm. In San Diego. <laughs> Hopefully the system that we're going to get to the fact that the things that look like stinging nettles weren't in fact stinging nettles. I made a mistake. We were walking through an overgrown trench next to a wall and it was loaded with stinging nettles. Like this high. <laughs> I had to use my hiking poles as a makeshift machete to clear a path through them. It took forever. Did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Oh God, this is brutal. <laughs> We're being brutalized to even go through all your pants yeah. and your clothes. Yeah, it stings legs through your pants. And look, lucky I brought my long pants. But, uh, what do they look like now? Oh, they're all wet, but yeah. Could be worse. Good? Well, I, mean, I don't in know. in a cave. <laughs> well, I'm not going down there. <laughs> it's very difficult to get I don't know what out. kind of fruit these are. These bushes are loaded with these blackberries. Nothing eating them. Shorty's yeah. trying to get me to try them. But uh, relatively good so. open trail again. We've been averaging about a mile and a half an hour, which is pretty good given this terrain. Oh man, it's a jungle. And we figured out why the Christians carry their cross in front of them. It's because they used to tread these paths on their pilgrimages in ancient times and the cross held in front cleared the path of cobwebs and spiders <laughs> Whew, we haven't seen any fauna to speak of but it looks like some animals been digging up the ground around here maybe wild boar mm -hmm. or ancient stonework mm -hmm. I wonder how old these are. They could be millennia old. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, oh, probably pre-Roman. Another wrong turn. Uh -huh. well, yeah, left, I think. Must be. Yeah, left. <sighs> Fortunately, it didn't go it's too far out the way. Went another wrong way. Figured it out in less than a hundred feet there when it became like, where does the trail go now? So Shorty's leading the way now, clearing the path of cobwebs. Watch out for the snakes. You make my heart sing. Well, we're making progress, slowly but surely. We may be only half an hour from the water system. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna have breakfast there. We didn't bother having breakfast at the tent. I think there's a good view close to the water system. So we'll tank up and eat breakfast. Be gone, <laughs> evil spiders! Go back to when she came! Buddha! Yay! Watch out, your butt looks big from here. <laughs> Show us how it's done. Don't drop the string. Yeah, don't drop the string. And where's those two froggies? Oh, I see that froggy. Oh, those little. froggies! Yeah. In our water tank. <laughs> oh, there's the bigger one. And a snail. Oh yeah, must be good water. That's the way we treat it. Here's our platypus gravity filter. We've done enough work today. We don't need to be squeezing our water. So from where we camped. 3.7 miles. It took us 3 hours 20 minutes to get here to the water. Oh, and we would have had to do this yesterday had we not found that froggy, tadpole 
Tanaha that we filled up a couple of liters from. Yeah, it dirtied up the filter, but... Yeah, but the <clears throat> filter's still running okay with clean water. Mm -hmm. The water from this cistern, despite having a couple of frogs and a snail in it, it's pretty clean. <laughs> so we're filtering it's, it anyway. It's delicious. So we'll fill up with water here and then go up to the uh, viewpoint. There's a campsite labeled on the map where we initially thought to camp at, but with the thunderstorm, well, the thunder yesterday afternoon, we thought we were going to be walking into a thunderstorm. and We didn't want to do that. It's difficult enough when it's dry. Oh, yeah, well, the thunderstorm never appeared. Yeah, we were lucky. Yeah, just some lightning last night. And I slept like a baby. I was exhausted. I went to bed at, what, 7.30? Slept through till 4.30. Oh, mm. wow, nine hours. Uh, maybe it. I got five. Oh, yeah, yeah. My regular five. Yeah, but Shorty was eating chocolate before going to bed. Uh, no, bad idea, huh? Oh yeah, I think that caffeine in the in the dark chocolate kept me awake. For your problem. So, just eat it at lunchtime. And birdies are happy. Oh yeah, we're entertaining them. We're entertainment for the birds, and Better they're than being... calling us cuckoo, cuckoo. Better than being entertainment for the cows. Oh my god, that was bad. <laughs> but it looked like some big animal, huh, on the path. Yeah, maybe. Wild pigs. Could be wild pigs, could be bears. We're going to backtrack bears. a little bit because, well, this is an offshoot trail. We just backpacked, backtracked a little bit. But uh, according to our GPS marking, there's supposed to be a good campsite up here. So we think maybe a view over the Adriatic, finally. <laughs> I thought we'd have views over the Adriatic a lot of this trail, but... Yesterday when we might have had views, it was all misty in the clouds. Today, we've been hiking through a jungle so far. But no, no, it's going to clear up here. Let's oh, yeah. check it out. So finally, we got views over the Adriatic. It's hard to tell where the Adriatic stops and the sky starts, but let's see if we can find a nice... Oh, there's a nice place to sit. Oh, beautiful! So this is our breakfast spot. This is where we thought we might come yesterday, but nah, we couldn't make it. Well, thanks to the tadpole pool, we didn't have to make it. I suppose we could have made it if we really had to. But, whoa, this is fabulous! Wonder what time we're looking down on the on the quarry. And somebody's camped here. Woohoo! The town down there with the beach is uh C with a funny mark on it, so maybe Z A N J Zanj. <laughs> Looks like a resort beach. Hotels. Oh, yeah. Zoom in for a closer look. Hotel I think, big hotel. Yeah, not really our scene. We like to be in the mountains. Oh, it's not hotels and beaches and okay. lots of people. I think it's been at least two decades since I had a blister, but I was getting a hot spot on the back of my left heel. And then another hot spot and behind the ball of my around my big toe on my right foot. I think because it's kind of wet. Walking through all this wet vegetation, should my shoes get wet? And then my socks get wet, my feet are wet. And whoa, oh, it's all wet. Because I use waterproof shoes. My hokas are waterproof. Oh, so oh. my socks are totally dry. Oh, so she. Oh, my she. There's a straight horizon. Um, yeah, well, it's not a place you want to have problems out here because although civilization looks close down there, it's not easy to get to. But in our first aid, <clears throat> aside from regular band-aids, we got uh, Compede hydrocolloid bandages. And I'm also carrying some antibiotic, augmentin, and some painkillers, Percocets. <laughs> you have to overdose? 
No, I don't get enough to overdose. In case of emergency? It's enough to ease, take the edge off the pain before the helicopter comes and rescues us. Because yeah, yeah. we do have worldwide helicopter rescue insurance and we got an inReach. So sooner or later we'd get help. But well, we don't want to hurt ourselves out here. No. No, we're having too much fun. And there's nobody else out here except when we come to a road. Now, after we had our long hour and a quarter breakfast and filtered water, talked to the frogs. But now this is nice open trail. What a contrast from earlier. Mm. Oh, this is very pleasant. Well, yeah, downhill too, but just just having open, easily found, easily navigable trail, that's really something. Can, and record video at the same I can, time. I can talk and walk. Walk 2,300, 2,300 feet in this mixed Whoa. coniferous forest. And we just came to a stream crossing and it's actually flowing. Oh. Nice. Yeah, water's really, it's all about the water here, just like the Arizona Trail. Mm -hmm. Except the Arizona Trail, maybe it's more difficult because you don't have all these cisterns. You've got really good uh, complex of cisterns. Northwestern tip of the Scara Lake. Oh, we're no. walking along an old roadbed now. Mm. This is becoming a lot more civilized. So different. Yeah, maybe if we had a Subaru with 9.2 inches of ground clearance, we could navigate this trail. Oh, here. I'm sure. Well, actually, I'm not so sure. We need pretty rugged tires for one thing. Yeah. Who needs a car when you can do this? Exactly. What's this place then? Let's have a look. A shelter. Oh god, it's kind of trashy. <laughs> well, I think I prefer my tent. Finally, we're on nice road. Easy. <laughs> well, this trail goes from one extreme to the other. Usually you would call this boring, but uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> not after what we went through this morning. <laughs> oh yeah, this is refreshing. Yeah. Well, views of the Adriatic and a cool breeze, which is very welcome. Right. This is easy walking anyway. Oh, this is really Good. pleasant now. I'm thinking that big town off in the distance on the coast is Budvar. I'm going to take a bus to there tomorrow. So, yeah, it'll be nice. Woo. Beautiful, the water is. Yeah, Adriatic. More Orada. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is really oh, beautiful. Hi. It looks as though we've reached another viewpoint. Okay. <sighs> now it's hot and sunny enough. I've had to switch to the umbrella in hands free mode. Shorty. Oh, nice. She likes to carry hers. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is the way to go. It's a nice cool breeze, but what oh, like some preparations. Hot. Oh, we get to see a takeoff. <laughs> I think I'd want the GoPro tethered. Or is it? No, it's not, huh? Oh, you just have to hang on to it. People start your hand this position, so in the sky, you hook under. Okay. So I stand still until you say rub, and then we go. Donuts!
Pretty here, all these blue flowers everywhere. And fabulous views of the Adriatic first and the register yeah, box. Only the second one we've seen. Well, this is only day three. No, no, the other one. Well, pull it straight up probably by the look of it. Well, this Difficult. section of trail has been weed whacked. What a difference. Nice cool breeze. Right on the edge. 12.30 and about a mile to the next water, walking through a nice shady beech forest. At least I think it's beech. Beach here and beach down below. Just a different kind of beach. Oh, this is a really nicely whacked out path. Oh, this is luxury. Mm, they knew we were yeah, well, it would have been better if they knew we were coming through the stinging nettle part. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite a... Stung me right through my pants and my shirt. Those things were vicious. I've never seen them so big. Ah, uh, we have in England. Yeah, in England we've seen big stinging nettles. Oh, Such a contrast to earlier this morning. <laughs> this is very pleasant. Mm -hmm. We met two people hiking and uh, day hiking and then the two girls from the Netherlands and three paragliders and the girls are paragliding yeah, they, spont yeah, they decided to paraglide spontaneously because of a chance encounter somewhere in Albania oh, no trail magic here hope the worst assistant's in good shape because it's fairly close to the road so we have to cross cautiously a PPT oh, sign. Dead animal and full of maggots. Ugh. Won't be getting this water. Surprise snake number six. Slithered off the path in a hurry when he heard me coming. <laughs> yeah, a lot of snakes out. Six snakes in three days so far. But I think only one of them was poisonous. Venomous. The one that didn't slither off. Yeah, that one didn't slither off. I had to scoosh him along with my hiking pole. 2,100 feet looking inland there. And then swinging around over to the Adriatic side. Oh, it's a nice cold breeze here. It's hot as blazes in the sun, but with the sun umbrellas and the cold breeze, it's actually quite pleasant. And this trail also has been weed whacked and a lot of snakes are slithering off to the side as we walk towards them. I think we counted seven altogether. The location is system marked on the map but it's just a shallow trough and it's empty. So looks like we've got to go on to the next water supply. Oh now this really is an old stone wall. This moss looks to be ancient. Yeah, looks healthy. Is it wet? More damp than the water sources. Well, it's good to be hiking through this cool shady forest now because the last 
two water supply places have been no good. The first one was putrid and full of maggots and a dead animal and the second one was dry. So now we're heading towards a chapel that supposedly has a water tap outside it that supposedly works, gives water. Let's hope so. Otherwise we've got to go six miles we got two quarts of water left the between chapel. us. chapel walked right past it and didn't see it. <laughs> well, it's off in the trees probably, a little bit off the trail. Didn't see any path leading well, to it though. Much better view of that chapel. Oh, I don't know how we missed it. Mm. Oh, clueless. <laughs> Close up. Uh, oh well. Whew, I'm getting hot and tired. Yeah. Guess that's From why. here to Ogrodenica. A chapel with a working tap, water tap. tap. Water exclamation point. They don't spend as much money on their crosses in Montenegro as they spend in Italy. Ooh. We must be getting near <laughs> civilization. Because running across the trail here is a water diversion channel. We're only and about five course. minutes away now from the chapel at Ugrodenica. It's becoming increasingly civilized around here. Nice path, lots of rock walls. Well, nice path, an okay path. <laughs> Where's the Lord? There's the chapel at Ugradenica. Supposed to have a working faucet. We could certainly use the water, or maybe not the dog. Whew, check it out. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I feel my Pellegrino water bottle. Buddha, Beautimus. Praise the Lord. Cold water. That's all that. I don't know. Gradenica Chapel. Oh, it's Orthodox. And Gradenica Chapel. Evidently Orthodox. Highly decorated. Wow, well, it's really nice chapel. Well, this chapel is very welcoming. They have solar power, so we can recharge our batteries. And uh, there's trail magic. They left boxes of apples and kiwis. So we made a pot of tea. And we're enjoying afternoon tea. Look, we have trail magic. Apples, kiwis, kiwis, kiwis. Left a knife. Smell a bit ripe, mind you. I'm gonna have to stick to the apple. <laughs> but yeah, it's fabulous here. So nice. Nice day too. So we'll kick back here for a while. Let it cool off and then carry on for a bit. Find somewhere in the wilderness to camp where there aren't any cows. Wow, it's a really fabulous place and unlike France, they leave it open. So nice, the nun brought me a cup of Turkish coffee. What a great place to relax. Six o'clock, we're at 2,000 feet cooling off now and thanks to the nun at the chapel and the chapel we have plenty of fresh water and I'm fortified with a Turkish coffee and we recharged our batteries somewhat so good that was a nice rest really nice now should be a nice evening Gonna try and find a campsite with a view over the Adriatic. Well, we found a great place to camp tonight. Watch the sunset for a change over the Adriatic. It's fabulous. Looking down over Budvar, where we booked an apartment for tomorrow night so we can clean up and lick our wounds before re-entering the fray. Ooh, it looks as though it might be a nice sunset over the Adriatic.